Well, Thursday, time to go. Hmm. It's the Joe Show. It's the Joe Show. With me, Joe. Today's topic is money, money, money. Everyone's thinking about it all the time. How do I make more of it? Usually it's around starting businesses or investing or getting a promotion, maybe even negotiating with your boss. However, there's one guy that everyone always looks up to when it comes to money, and that is Warren Buffett. So today's Thoughtful Thursday article is entitled The Secrets to Warren Buffett's Incredible Wealth is Simpler Than You Think, The Most Powerful Force in the Universe. I guess it's money, I'm guessing, I don't know. Maybe it's gut feeling. What could the most powerful force in the universe be that isn't Galactus, the planetary devastator, you know? Or the one above all, Marvel references. If you got it, you got it. If you don't, now you know. Let's jump right into this article and see what Warren Buffett has for us. I want to tell you about a book I'm still reading. It's not just any book, it's Morgan Housel's new book, The Psychology of Money, Timeless Lessons on Wealth, Greed, and Happiness. The reason I want to tell you about this book is because of this quote I read in it that I'm still pondering. It's thought-provoking, perfect for Thursday. Quote, as I write this, Warren Buffett's net worth is $80 billion. Of that, $19.7 billion was accumulated after his 50th birthday. $70 billion came after he qualified for Social Security in his mid-60s. Warren Buffett is a phenomenal investor. But you miss a key point if you attach all of his success to investing acumen. The real key to his success, here it comes. So I hope you're sitting down. I hope you have your pants on because we're about to get our pants knocked off. The real key to his success is that he's been a phenomenal investor for three quarters of a century. Huh? Had he started investing in his 30s and retired in his 60s, few people would have ever heard of him. Consider a little thought experiment. Buffett began serious investing when he was 10 years old. By the time he was 30, he had a net worth of 1 million, or 9.3 million adjusted for inflation. What if he was a mere normal person, spending his teens and 20s exploring the world and finding his passion? And by the age of 30, his net worth was, say, $25,000. And let's say he went on to earn the extraordinary annual investment returns he's been able to generate 22% annually, but quit investing and retired at the age 60 to play golf and spend time with his grandkids. What would a rough estimate of his net worth be then today? Not 80 billion, but 11.9 million, 99% less than his actual net worth. Effectively, all of Warren Buffett's financial success can be tied to the financial base he built in his pubescent years and the longevity he maintained in his geriatric years. His skill is investing, but his secret is time. That's how compounding works. I'm a huge fan of the compounding effect. It's one of the most powerful forces in the universe. One of the best things you can do for your life is to understand the logic of compound, the exponential increase in value of an asset over time. Gray Foreman from The Dollar Stretcher wrote, what is compound interest? It's interest earning interest. In other words, a small action repeated over time can make a huge difference in your life, your career, relationship, and finance. In fact, the great Albert Einstein once said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. And that guy was smart. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. Most people want radical change now. Real growth and progress doesn't work like that. It takes time, patience, and consistency. Warren Buffett has been stressing the importance of compounding for over six years decades because it's made him billions. I always knew I was going to be rich, so I was never in a hurry to do so, Buffett said. If you're serious about living an extraordinary life, you can use the compounding principle to your advantage to improve every area of your life. Those small daily actions add up. They do count. Deliberate actions performed daily for weeks, months, years, and decades changes everything. Kind of like this show, trying to release daily, changing life one small release at a time and you can apply that same principle to growing your money so learn about compound interest find a great savings account invest in a roth ira invest in a normal ira invest in a hedge fund put your money to work don't just spend it first cover your debts then start investing and find the best compound interest which is just interest earning interest and if you don't understand what that is then you got some work to do you got some homework doesn't mean you can't be rich like warren buffett just means you gotta do some homework 
That's been today's Thoughtful Thursday. If you got something cool, send it to me, hi, Show at gmail.com. What are your thoughts on compound interest? Let me know in the comments. Have you been investing since you were 10 years old? And if so, what have you invested in? I'm curious to hear. Until next time, invest in something good, because I love you. <laughs>